Hey friends, are you ready? Welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be discussing about the University of Michigan. But before that, do subscribe to my channel at the rate girl with the scalpel. So, today we'll be discussing about the ITDP or the internationally trained dental program in the University of Michigan for internationally trained dentists. As you already know, I have started with a playlist and I have already discussed about Boston University and today I'll be discussing about University of Michigan. So let's go to their main website and discuss all the details. So as we can see here on the University of Michigan's website, from the School of Dentistry. So it's the internationally trained dentist program also popularly known as the ITDP. It is similar to that of the advanced standing programs which are there in other universities. So by continuing 28 month of study in this school you can earn a degree which is equivalent to DDS or the DDS and the program is the ITDP. So let's see what are the requirements which are there. Again, the most important requirement is to pass the INBDE or the NBDE part 1. Again, for part 1, if the scores are submitted, part 2 is encouraged but it is not necessary. And part 1 scores from last 5 years are preferred but all the passing scores are accepted. Again, the part two, 1, part 2, they have all been discontinued. Now only the INBDE works. The next one is the ADAT. Now, uh, let's dis discuss briefly something about ADAT. It is an advanced dental admissions test. It is, I would say, an upcoming thing which might be utilized by many universities in future to an extent that it might it might be become the whole sole criteria of getting into a dental school. So in this university, it is highly encouraged. If you have given an ADAT, you can attach your results here. It might help you uplift your profile and you might stand a better chance in getting into the dental school. Again, you have to submit all the details via the ADR CAPID website where you have to include all these details. Then coming on to the IBT TOEFL examination, again there is a certain requirement which needs to be fulfilled which can be seen here. Then coming on to some dental experience. So applicants are expected to demonstrate experience in the dental field and experiences that indicate direct patient care as a dent licensed dentist is desirable. Again, if you have a master's degree in your dental school back in your home country, it's a plus point. You have done volunteer in uh, American dentists, you have done shadowing, you have done volunteer work in the third world country. So again, it will add up to your profile, it will enhance your profile. So if you are a graduate or just a, a fresh graduate from your home country, you should, you should participate in doing volunteer work, you should participate in, in the dental camps which are organized by your dental schools, you should get enough publications all these things basically uplift your profile as compared to others if you have a master's degree bingo you stand a very good chance in getting into the school then coming on to the standard procedure of getting the letter of recommendation to should be from uh, the choice of your faculty could be your friends and one has to be from your dean then there is some application fee which is a 75 dollar application fee which is required now the deadline of these colleges and these schools vary for the latest deadlines you have to check the adia capit website where they have already given what are the deadlines you can do the comparisons i have created a short video regarding the adia pass as well as adia capit where you can actually compare dental schools i'll be coming up with that tree shortly then what are the steps so first you have to create a capital account then you have to get your ECE done ECE can be done either from by sending the transcripts from your dental school or you can directly send your certificates you have to choose it from the website you have to get an ECE done for the school because VES is not accepted 
then you have to get your recommendation letters then standardized tests like the INBDEs or NBDs part 1 part 2 then ADATS and TOEFL then coming on to the program cost again which is very important now for each application cycle approximately 70 candidates attend the interviews and based upon that the students and uh, the applicants are selected again coming on to uh, I would say there is another program which is known as synergy dentist program which is actually offered by the University of Michigan which is the synergy dentist for internationally trained dentist to help strengthen the applications if you happen to attend this program you should do it it will increase your chances of getting into this dental school now coming on to the fee structure now the fee structure I would say is slightly on the higher side we have discussed another school that is Boston University the fee structure for that school was slightly lower this is comparatively higher again there's a slight difference it is a 28 month program uh, so it will have extra four months so you'll be entered or you would say you have to study for four months some of the curriculum of the second year then you will start attending the third year which is for 12 months and then the fourth year so the fee varies so for 2023-24 it is 46,917 then for D3 that is the, th the third year as well as the final year of the fourth year the budget it changes and it varies for latest information you ke should keep on visiting their official website which I have shown here and I will be putting down the link of the de in the description box too so that you can easily check that out also for the applying for the financial assistant as it is given in their website for the US citizens as well as permanent residents there are certain uh, federal student aids which are there which you have to go through again uh, most of my audience is international dentists international students who don't have a green card or they are not the citizens I suppose <laughs> then for those uh, the federal regulations and University of Michigan severely limit the types of financial assistance available to international students. So university admission policies require that students who are admitted with an F1 visa have enough resources to meet their expenses in the University of Michigan. F1 cannot use any private educational loans to demonstrate their financial resources and some US lenders will provide education loans for admittance. So some require uh, a co-signer as well so it can take up to eight weeks to process these private loans and so you sh should make sure you apply as early as you're admitted to ensure that funds are available to pay your winter term fee right so again uh, you have to take care of your funds and how are you going to manage all the finances and see how it works out for you again 